Hi everyone, it's Cindy. Welcome back to Studio Lou. So earlier this week I posted a bit of an unboxing video from globalland.com and um, I showed you what they sent me. So today I want to show you um, how I'm going to use one of the two kind of sets of products that I got. So for the first thing that I got, it was this amazing eye stencil. I was really intrigued by this. Also, look at this really cool paper that it came on. So this is like really, um, you know, when packaging can really inspire you. So what I was thinking I'd like to do is make some nice, like long, oblong kind of journal tags that are rounded corners. I'll sort of show you. So what I'm starting with are just a couple of pieces of really nice um, quality heavier weight cardstock and I've got a bunch of sprays here. So I want to do a little bit of a mixed media background to begin. So these sprays are ones that I made myself from leftover markers and then these sprays we've got some Distress Oxide spray and Villainous Potion and a couple of um, art sprays from Marabou. So I will play with these one at a time and I just have to grab my guillotine here, Let's close it and bring it up here, move these to the side. So what I need to look at is the size of this so I can use it this way and I think I will try to get three to four pieces out of this one, two, three three, four probably. What size do I want this to be? Let me just, maybe three inches would be nice. Or three and a half. Yeah, let's go three and a half. So we'll just cut these pieces of paper to size. just grab my grunge box one moment so here I've laid all five well five of the six because that's what fits of strips into my grungy box here that I use for spraying um, and then I'm just going to create like a nice coating of color with the sprays and things on top of this so we'll start with a bit of plum and then I'm gonna add a bit of water Just to kind of um, use a bit of coffee. That's gonna spray a little easier. Just to add some water and coffee to the paper to just make it make the color move a little. And then I'll play with a little bit of my homemade marker spray. This stuff is so interesting and completely you never really know what's gonna happen with it. It's really fun. Um, then. I think we need some blue. This one I think I need to drop because the spray bottle doesn't want to cooperate as well as it once did. I have to clean it I think. Just maybe do some dripping. Oops, that's a lot of dripping. Okay, that's okay. Let's move to the other marker bottle. Add some pink. Okay. And then I'll go in with the Distress Oxide Spray. Just gonna cover in those last little most of the last little white spaces and then um, a little bit more marker spray. Okay, so now we need to just let this dry for a moment. Okay, so these have had a moment to dry 
And what I would like to do is a couple of different techniques today. One is a little bit more instant gratification for me and the other one I'm going to have to wait a little bit. So um, I've just got this here, the, the card that we that we dyed, and I'm just going to line it up on my little glass mat here and then just take a couple pieces of masking tape, just itty bitty bits, and just put one on two of the corners to just hold this in place so it stays aligned. And then I'm going to take the top set of eyes here. And I'm going to do this upside down so I can keep it a little closer to me and I can kind of easily manage the, the product without smushing it everywhere. Okay. Just kind of line this up where I want it to be. And then I'm going to grab another couple of pieces of masking tape because it's easy to remove and I'll just tack it down on the stencil and stick it to the glass as well. So there we go. So we have our set of eyes there. And what I would like to do with this first one is there's this lovely Sizzix Luster Wax in Lilac Rainbow that looks really nice on darker colors. So I'm going to try applying this just with my finger. You don't need to use any kind of tool. In fact, I don't really know what kind of tool would be good other than your finger. I like using my finger with this stuff. Um, so we're just going to fill in the stencil, the gaps of the stencil. Just work it into all the little spaces. And if you wanted to use a brush, you know, if you felt like you weren't getting it in, you could. But I, I'm not really having an issue. Okay, so there's one. And I just kind of press up close to, on the stencil wherever I'm applying the product so I make sure it's fully down. This stencil is nice and thick, um, which would make it really good for using with jelly printing. And I tend to find that with these types of masks that the more you use them, the better they get, especially with acrylic paint, they just get kind of stronger and nicer. And then I'm just going to smooth over the whole thing here. Okay. And then I'll just lift my tape. Just set it aside because I'll use it again and then just lift your stencil right up. Okay. And then this is just going to have to dry. But there you go. Isn't that fun? And it's all iridescent. So we'll just let that go sit and dry for a little bit. Now the next technique that I want to use is um, the one that's going to take a little bit more time. So let's again just line this up nice and neat because that will let us um, align the eyes. Oops, that's the wrong piece of tape. There we go. And then I'll use the second set of eyes this time. like to try is this golden crackle paste. This is the one that's going to take a little bit more time to dry so I'll be filming this video the rest of this video after it dries. So you want to be generous with crackle paste when you use it because um, it does need a decent amount to give you good crackles. So don't be too, don't skim on the crackle paste. Okay. 
inventory here. Now I'll just kind of skid across the stencil to just make sure that I get it on evenly. I'll get rid of any excess. Okay. <clears throat> Oops, I got a little off the side. Let's just clean that up. There we go. Let's pop it back in the jar. Now I will lift the tape off. Pull our stencil. Okay, and then I'll just get rid of this little excess that I got right there. Take a little look, make sure that it's how I expect, and I think it is. Whoops. Get rid of any extra that you got. So this one's just going to dry for a little bit. Okay, so I just gave the, the uh, stencil a little bit of a wipe with a baby wipe to just get rid of the wet media. And now I figured we could play with a few other, I'd say, everyday common supplies that we use in junk journaling. So I will grab another one of these and just put it down here on my my book. Just kind of smooth it out here. And then I'll go with the third set of eyes and just lay it down. And then I'm going to use um, some Luster Wax um, Gold. This is also a Sussex product, so it's just a gilding wax. And I'm not going to tape anything down. I'm just going to kind of hold it. And we'll do some nice gold um, eyes. It's just fun to play with some different kinds of mediums um, with these stencils. I wanted to do something a little different than just jelly plating because I feel like we, we've seen jelly plating with stencils a lot. And it's also nice to just see what you can do with your everyday kind of mediums that aren't really mixed media, really wet mediums too, so that like if you don't have all those things that you can still make use of these kind of stencils. Okay. And then just lift it away and there we go. We have some nice gold eyes. <clears throat> you could also use these as a single eye. You don't have to use both eyes. Um, I am just using both eyes because I, I like the shape of the um, ephemera that I'm getting. And then I'll clean this up with just a bit of scrap paper. And I'm just going to rub on that gold to get that excess color off. I like to recycle as much medium as I can because then you get like just pretty bits of gold on some paper. So then we'll use another really common product, which is Distress Oxide ink. So I'll take this one. They're also super pretty on the back if you wanted a very different kind of color, um, which could be kind of fun. Maybe I will do that. Let's see. This one's kind of more like celestial. And we'll go with these eyes. So I'll put this here and just kind of look from side to side and make sure it's lined up how we want it. And then I'll just go, this is Black Soot Distress Oxide. And I'm just going to apply it with my regular dauber that I always use. Just holding my stencil still. I'm just kind of going in at all directions, making sure that I fully fill in the stencil. Looks pretty good. Then we'll go to the other side. The other thing I like about this particular stencil is the different patterns, like each set of eyes, they're not so close together that you end up um, accidentally 
inking a part of a stencil that you don't like. I find some stencils that have like multiple patterns on them, they put them too close and then you end up getting a pattern that you don't want. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. Okay. And then we have one more to go, which is this one. And I think I'm gonna get a lighter ink. Just give me one moment. Okay, so I'm gonna use weathered wood distress oxide. So it's more of like a lighter gray. So now we'll line up this last set of eyes. I'm gonna do it upside down so I can have a little more room. There we go. Let's kind of center it again. There we are. All right. going in a circular motion to just get all the little bits of the stencil. Okay. Over to the other eye. So that's cool. It's a little lighter. And what I'm going to do is just give it a little bit of time to dry. And then I may even do an outline um, around it with something else like this, um, this chalk or charcoal, but I may not, I may just leave it. We'll see. I will, I will wait until it's dry to see what my final color looks like. Um, and I will come back after everything is dry. Okay, so this one that we treated with the crackle medium has had time to dry. I can already see the crackles there. So what I'm thinking I'd like to do with this to finish it up, I've grabbed a couple of alcohol inks, just a black and um, a lemon yellow to just kind of grab like a bit of different color um, and see how that will add to things. So I'm just going to throw a little bit of both colors in this little this little dish here um just let them kind of is this one yeah I haven't opened this one yet hold on let's open it up there we go okay so i think i'll start in with the yellow and I'll probably have to bring this a little closer so that you can see how it affects the surface and it brings up the crackle. Add a little bit of black here too. And then I need a little water. the black now if I need more yellow which I will I'll come in later but I just want to have a bit of watered down black underneath and to make this interesting the trick is just kind of water down the alcohol ink because that will um, not completely wash out your whole texture but it will get into all those little cracks. And you can um, <clears throat> you can go outside the lines, if you will, with alcohol ink, because all it's going to do is bleed around the, the image and just kind of give it a, um, a bit of a tone around it, like an outline. And I like that. So the nice thing with this, too, is this already picked up a great amount of color um, from when I, um, was just 
adding the texture paste because I still had a bit of wet medium on here. So I've already got some nice tones in the crackle paste, that purple and pink. Okay, so here you go. I'll bring this up close and you see the black in the cracks. It's really quite pretty. So then what I want to do, I'm happy with how this looks <clears throat> from the front. Now what I would like to do with these is to make them more finished. So to do that, I'm just going to grab some paper here. Is this one a little too small. I'll just grab some one moment. Okay, so this is some of my hand dyed paper. And then I'm just going to glue stick the back here. We'll glue this down on the paper. Just gonna give it a smoosh. And we'll go ahead and cut this off. And let's trim all the way around. these little scraplets <clears throat> and then just give it another little press around the edges just to adhere it to the backing let's hold it for a moment and then I'm going to round the corners on all four sides with my half inch corner rounder So just give me two seconds. I'm going to stitch around the edge of this. So this has been stitched. I've done a bit of zigzag here and here and the rest has just been straight stitch. So we have the backing now. And then I just want to add a little bit more to the edges of this using the gilding wax. Just with my finger, I'm just going to go around and make a little golden frame. Just rubbing in that gilding wax. There we go. So that gives it a bit of an interesting outline. So there we go. It is all gilded on the front. Now let's take a look at all of these together. The ones that I finished off camera. Um, we'll just put them all together because I think they look really cool together. I think that these would be really nice um, as like you could put eyelets in all of them and you could have them through like um, a loop or, or something like that. They would go really nice together as a set. You could do something that was like tarot or celestial signs with these. Um, I think these eyes themselves, they're a really nice motif to have. You could use them in celestial things, witchy things, tarot, but even like in a nature type journal, like, you know, an eye into nature, that kind of thing. So this again is from Global Land. This is the stencil mask that you get. It's really lovely. It's very high quality, nice and thick. Um, I liked using it with all these different mediums. So to review the mediums, so this was gray, um, oxide, Tim Holtz oxide, distress oxide. And then I outlined it with a black fine liner and added gilding wax. This was the Sizzix um, iridescent um, violet um, medium wax basically and I gilded it as well and this one is just the gilding wax. I considered outlining it but I actually quite like it how it is and this one I did on the back side of those papers that we dyed just with black soot um, distress oxide and this is the one that we did with the crackle paste which I think is probably my favorite from the texture standpoint with alcohol ink and um, 
building wax. So again, check the links below. You can get a discount code for 10% off. Um, check out the description box and I will link directly to this stencil as well as to the other products that you'll see later in the week from me from Global Land. Um, so yeah, thank you for joining me and I hope you have a great day. Bye for now.